In time this week, demonstrators gathered outside the governor's residence in Hartford's West End demanding prisoners be released. Now, Governor Lamont has not supported a mass release of prisoners in response to COVID-19. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is near the governor's house now with more on this controversy. Mike. Yes, and Dennis, things are quiet here now on Prospect Avenue, but it was just over an hour ago that the protesters were still out here. I'd say about 50 to 60 cars, protesters honking their horns, yelling, doing everything they can to make some noise. Now, the governor was not here at the time of the protest. He was actually addressing the media at that daily briefing when the protest started, but that didn't stop the protesters from coming out. In fact, there was probably 10 to 15 more cars than there were here during a similar protest in the middle of the day on Monday. Uh, now, the Department of Correction as you mentioned, has not supported any kind of mass release, and that's what is upsetting these protesters. The DOC not following uh, the lead of New York, New Jersey, and several other states. Instead, they're focusing on quarantining inmates who test positive, saying that they are not allowing visitors at this time. They're quarantining and screening new inmates, and they're also checking anybody who's coming in. They're also said today that they will be moving inmates who test positive to Northern Correctional Institute in summers. But for the protesters who are here, that's just not enough. They say that the prisons are a great area for COVID-19 and other viruses like that to spread. There is some disagreement on just how many inmates should be released, but many of the people we talked to said we should start with some of the lower risk inmates. Take a listen. A lot of these inmates have a year, six months, three months. Let them go. Let them go. People are in there for driving under suspension. Let them go. There's already problems with the criminal justice system as it is. There's a lot of people who are behind bars right now who should be able to come out and, and, and they shouldn't have to deal with a, um, a public health problem. And you also, of course, got a little bit of a sample of how much noise was just being made out here. Now, the Department of Corrections uh, Commissioner Roland Cook said on Monday that the DOC did release 727 inmates in March. That's the most ever for a single month. And pop prison population has been trending downward from some time, reaching a 30-year low. But, of course, for the protesters who are here, that is just not enough during a pandemic. Reporting live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Mike, thank you.